Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Just a quick update on my SDS Imports Civit 12. I purchased a muzzle brake, but before getting the right muzzle brake for my SDS Import Civit 12, safety check. Okay, so this is the muzzle brake. Uh, this gun. I think it's a clone of the Sega, Sega 12. So the, the muzzle brake takes Sega 12 muzzle brake, muzzle brakes and Sega 12 magazines. Okay. So the thread is M22 by 0 0.75 right hand thread. Okay. It is important because I found this on eBay. I thought it 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 will fit, but it's too big. I thought um, uh, all 12 gauge uh, barrels are the same. This is just too big. So this is for the Caltech K uh, KS12, uh, the Caltech shotgun. This is too big. It just slipped right down. Because the diameter of this muzzle brake is too big. Plus this is aluminum and this is steel. Uh, like I said, it reminded me of my um, AR muzzle brake. I think it's a Yankee heel machine muzzle brake. This is my AR muzzle brake. So let's look at the design. AR 12 gauge. And also, uh, this is the second time that this is the my second shotgun that has a muzzle brake. First one is a Tedna P12, and the muzzle brake is internal thread has an internal the the muzzle has internal thread. I think uh, designed for chokes. So unlike the SDS imports, CV12, the thread is outside, like a regular gun barrel thread. Okay, so this is also made of steel. And this uh, lightweight aluminum. So I like it, I like this better. <laughs> um, I'm still deciding if I'm gonna buy the 10 rounder because uh, uh, I don't know if it's gonna be heavy in, in that kind of loadout 10 rounds compared to just uh, buying multiple uh, 5 round magazines and I think uh, the stock can be changed to Magpul stocks, but for now this is okay. Let the rattle. I already installed the the peep sight. The peep sight. So there you go, just an update on my SDS Imports uh, Civit 12. Thanks for watching guys.